Hello everyone, this is TailsFan109 and welcome back to Let's Play Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. We finished up Goo Lagoon last time and actually got to 100% the whole place for a change. But now we are about to enter the Poseidon. Which means it's big boss time! Woo! I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been bleached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness! Bring it on! In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy! <laughs> and his challenger! A huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel! Look, it's a giraffe! Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Nice little giraffe reference. Now, even though this is the first big boss, really big boss, it's actually pretty easy. Looks like the, the really big battles tend to follow three phases. Crazy. Each phase being a little different. But all three of them are easy. As you can see, Robot Sandy follows the same pattern the whole time during this fight. Part, this part of the fight. Now don't worry about the coin from last time. I have water this time, so I'm prepared. <sighs> Even as a kid, this part was really easy. The first part of the fight is already done. I wanna play, I wanna play! Epic, we're not playing! We're fighting for our lives! I wanna play, I wanna play! Oh, alright! So now we change tactics. She still does that little pound in which you just stay away as usual. But now she's going to do this. You just simply jump over it. Any jump will do. And then she pounds, stomps on the ground again like that. You do the ground pound. But this time, you actually have to pick up her head and throw it into the wires. And if you miss, you cry about it. <laughs> now she's probably gonna get it back because after a while the head just simply goes back to her. Oh! That is so mean! One second too late. Now we just wait for it to have me back to that point. It may be harder to actually deal damage, but. The attacks are still just as easy to avoid. You're only dealing with one new move overall. Also, if she reaches her head, she'll automatically pick it up. Yep. Come on. Good. Now I would just do that another two times. Really easy. I don't really know what else to say. For that attack, just stay far away. For this attack, stay far and jump over. And then you pound the ground during the third attack, like the first part of the fight. And then you throw the head into the wires. Even as a kid, this wasn't that hard to figure out at all. Like, it's pretty obvious. Good. Yeah! Yeah! We're winning! Huh. Not sure what to say. This is just really easy. Well, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Anyone looking forward to it? For those that um, don't live in America, Thanksgiving is a natural holiday we celebrate in America to give thanks for all we have. It's basically based on when we moved into the New World back in the 1600s. Um, I'll talk a little more about it after this next scene. Oh, that was fun! Your turn, SpongeBob! Oh? Uh... Wee. 
So basically when the Pilgrims arrived in the New World, we were very thankful just to survive the first winter. And then the Indians, or the Native Americans, uh, I'm not concentrating. They invited us for a feast and we were very thankful for that. And we formed our holiday based on that. Now, I guess I should talk about how this third part of the fight works. And uh, I missed. So, it's not much different. She still starts off by pounding the ground, which again, yes, still stay far away from. Then she does that little string attack, but this time there's less space to maneuver. Only do a single jump. It might help to do this in the air so that you can stay in the air a little bit. Then she pounds on the ground, you pound back, and this time you have to bubble bash into her helmet. The whole fight is really easy. Dare I say it, it's probably slightly easier than King Jellyfish. And this is the first huge fight. Second boss, but the first really big one. Every section of the game has one small boss, followed by a huge boss at the end of it. Alright. The fight's over. It Takes a little time, but it's easy. Well, that was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula. And that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want. But not here. We just wax the floors. Spongebob looked so cute when he saw the golden spatula! I love cute stuff! It's time to talk to Plankton again. It's gonna be a trend after being a huge boss. Hey, Plankton! Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Yeah, that's not always a good thing, SpongeBob. So... I guess now we shall explore this new area of Bikini Bottom, where there is more to do. Like breaking these tiki's with super sensitive hearing. But apparently they can't hear that I'm attacking. Okay. Sure. Hey, look! Let's do it! You want to see something Metroid level cryptic? Yeah! Who's gonna guess that? I sure did it when I was a kid. I had no idea how anyone's supposed to figure that out. I just did it once out of pure confusion of boredom. Ball of bubble. Press this button and you'll pull a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble ball only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Yep, that's how you learn about your new move. Isn't that cool? Well, I guess we'll unlock this. This plant, this is the next place I plan to go to. Even though this is another spot we could go for free, I tried to go and order the pause menu. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, let's pick up some more shiny objects. Hi, Mr. Krabs, I don't have enough right now, so I'm not going to talk to you. How could you not love the music to Bikini Bottom? It's like one of my favorite tracks. Of SpongeBob history. How could you not love it? 
Alright, so we've collected most of the shiny objects we could get here. This is where the next huge boss is. We don't need that many more, actually. And we only need, like, eight more already. And we just got to this area. Another shiny object! So yeah, we're just going to take a little break from worlds right now. Oh yeah, now we can turn to Spongebob for quick travels. We'll go in there in a bit. I want to get all the exterior stuff done first. That involves this. We're going to go on top of the police station. And we can get another pair of golden underwear now. Good. Now we And we can also get a golden spatula. There is quite a bit to do so it should take up the rest of this video i would assume and i hope get away there okay and we just clipped through did spongebob just say cousin drew i don't think i've ever heard that one. Oh my i wasn't ready Anyways, here's our next golden spatula. Hooray! Now we have 33! Yeah, that sounds so weird. So that's it with the stuff out here. Let's go inside Sandy's tree dome. We have to fix a problem for Sandy. And yes, since we don't have a hell of a we do have a time limit, but it does go away after all the robots are found. It might be a good idea to get rid of the duplicato trons first. Okay, not the best way to start this. Like I said, probably not the best way to start this. Oh my gosh! Get hit by every little thing. Oh my, we don't want that guy exploding out of the- Oh jeez, I'm almost dead. This should be the last enemy. Oh my gosh! I'm terrible. I spit. Well, now we have to do it over again because I'm an idiot. Duplicate Otrons first. Then we'll deal with the enemy. You know, unless an enemy gets in our way, then we'll happily do. Ow. There. Oh, come on, how did I not hurt him? On the bright side, this is getting us a good deal of shiny objects. Oh, look, I didn't get that one yet. Hi. Oh no! There, we destroyed all the robots. And now we get our golden spatula. Alrighty then, that's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this one later. Yes, I will. They should have gotten our voice clip just for this one moment. There we go. Whew. I guess now we'll uh, go into Shady Shoals and work on stuff there. <coughs> I need to drink some water. Wow, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, my heroes! Hit me with a water ball, hit me, hit me, hit me! Yeah, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Could be. <laughs> hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? No, oh boy, would I? Okay then, uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. 
We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? I don't plan on going in the marmalade until a much later. Yes. Exactly, SpongeBob. You got the general idea. There we go. I see that destroyed chairs. That is good. Destroying everything should get us another sock. Sorry, old man. This is a bikini ah. bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now. I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming. Retirement home girls gone wild. Mermaid man, you devil! Uh... Is that really everything? Uh, I'm pretty sure something should have happened. Hmm. Wonder what I meant. Do, do I have to hit all the old people? I'm pretty sure that was a sock in here. <coughs> oh, there we go. I just had to hit the TV a few more times. Anyways, here's a sock. Yeah, more crypticness. <coughs> Alright, there's a couple more things I would like to get done before I end off the video. First of all, we now have enough shiny objects for uh, Mr. Krabs. So, let's get that done. Well, I want to get a little more. Yep. Okay, there. Next one, it will be at 4,500 shiny objects. So we've got quite a bit to get. Let's roll back down. Now, something I want to do in Jellyfish Fields and something that I want to do in uh, Goo Lagoon. Let's go here. And sounds like my older brother's back because he's playing the piano. So you're probably gonna end up hearing it. My apologies if you don't want to. But uh, hey, it's played every day. I'm actually doing this at 4.15. There was no one in the house. I'm recording this a little earlier than usual because it's actually a Friday that I'm recording this. So. All right, let's try and get some sh shiny objects based off of combos. There we go. And now we're gonna go bowling for a sock. There we go. Hooray! Unfortunately, we still cannot get everything here. There is some more shiny objects I wanna get based on another really big combo, so let me do that before I leave. I want to do all the grinding that I can, so I want to buy everything. That includes this random bonus gallery, and that is worth a lot. 40,000 shiny objects. There we go. Jellyfish Fields always reminds me of childhood, because I did have a lot of trouble here as a kid. Now let's go to Goo Lagoon. Uh, Tower of Bungie. This should be the closest one. I think. Yeah, it's pretty close. Where am I going? This way. I just want to try the ski ball thing. I got all the socks, so it's definitely not for that. But I want to see if it's for, like, shiny objects. Or something. Of course, we're gonna have to get a good aim in. Oh, 
Yeah, it's just to score some shiny objects. Well, I'll try a little. Hey, look, I got a 30. And a 40. Well, okay. You think I can reach that one? The one at the corner, possibly? I want to try. Oh. Oh. Bogus. Bogus, man. I think I'm getting too close now. I'm too close. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Getting too close again. Come on, come on! Ah! What? No, I would not accept this! No! I don't want to leave until I get one in there! Why is it this hard? It keeps getting... There! I'm satisfied now, um... I'll just head back to where I want to go for the next video and stop. <coughs> Alright, so. We're going to enter rock bottom next time. Until that. Oh, wait. Shiny object. Until that frightening moment. This has been Tales from 109, and have a nice day.